Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Um, today we are going to open and swatch these. This is the Jane Davenport Glitz C got the packaging. Um, watercolour pan. Uh, let me just zoom in for you so you can see. There you go. Glitz C it says. Um, it was I think it was listed just the turquoise one. You get the neutrals, the brights, and the glitz. So this was the glitz one. And this is what it looks like. Those are the colours. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And there's the barcode if you need it. So, yeah. That's as far as I got was taking it out of there. And, um... This is what you get when you open it. This is your blending palettes, if you like. I really like to take mine off of there because I take this off of mine because it's a pain in the ass, but there you go. You also get this little card. Um, it just says, you know, Jane Davenport Glitzy Palette includes two metallic and a specially selected set of colours, which is, is printed weird. It should be printed that way in my book, but there you go. Um, hello artist, this palette of fine watercolours features two metallic paints and ten glitz C hues. Use the reverse of this card to make a handy reference. I hope this fine little set of paints brings you big joy. Join me at janedavenport.com for painting tips, techniques and art making lessons. And then there's like a little mermaid. Now, you get that in every Jane Davenport set. The difference with this one is, it's the paper that they've used. These are the other two palettes. This is the neutral. And again, it's, but look, it's actually printed around the right way on this one. Oh no, it's not, it's, it's the same, yeah. And it's, it says exactly the same thing, although she does go on about, um, about there being three primaries in this one. And then there's another bit, but this is a glossy card and it's the same in that one, okay? Um, so I often think that the color might not necessarily be true because it's slightly glossy on these ones. But, you know, we'll see. I'm going to swatch it both on the card and because I'm a bullet journaler rather than a um, artist, I'm going to do it in my scribbles that matter book as well. But I do have a mixed media pad and I will do it in here as well. So I'll do a lot of my swatches in here. That's my Ganzai. Uh, that was some watercolour pencils. <laughs> that was the um, last Jane Davenport one. That's the Brights. Um, I was going to do a video on that <laughs> and I recorded the entire video and then looked up to click stop recording and I hadn't actually started recording. So, yeah. so this is a Dela and Rowney mixed media pad. Okay, um, ideal for all sorts. So, let's get to opening them all. Which means 10 minutes of unwrapping the sodding things. <laughs> and uh, I'll be back in a moment. A little hint for you. If you don't like your pans sliding from side to side once they're in here, and I don't, I can't stand it, bend these in, these bits. Okay, you can't stop the whole thing moving. All right, it's designed to be removable, this little bit inside. Okay, but if these bits, you bend them in a little bit, they'll hold your pans that much tighter and they won't slide from side to side because your pans aren't even, when they're all in, aren't even that long. So there's extra room in here, but there's not enough room to fit a seventh pan in, which is So yeah, I bend the things in and it holds them in place that much better. I found that out only recently, <laughs> so yeah. I'm putting them in here in the order that they are on the card. Jane Davenport does not label her pans, okay, it's a plain white pan. There's nothing on here. Prima put their um, number or the name actually on their pans and a couple of some watercolour makers on Etsy and whatever, they also try to um, 
put the the name on the pans as well, which I like. I don't like that Jane Davenport doesn't do them, but then I suppose once it's in place, you can't really see it. So there, yeah, you just ping them in, okay? So there you just next. I would rather as well that she left the um, sample card blank so that I can put them in the order that I want. But I suppose I could make my own. What I eventually plan to do is um, put them all into one big palette rather than have three individual little palettes because that just bugs me. Let's get some greens, finally. The other two palettes don't have any greens. Okay, so there they are. All in and ready. And I am now gonna use this aqua brush from Pentel. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I can't remember where it's from, but thankfully it's got the name written on it. So, let's start there. And I also need a bit of kitchen roll, just to wipe off, okay. So we're going to start with Water Spirit. Oh, it's a sort of gungy colour. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is exactly what you, the colour you would expect a mermaid to be, isn't it? You know, the evil mermaids, not the aerial type mermaids. Okay, the next one is Sylph. That's a greeny, greeny green. I don't get why it's separated from the other green, but there you go. Right. Now we're doing Nereid, Nereid, which I think is how you pronounce it. Well, that's a nice blue. It says Ariel. Now, if that's supposed to be Ariel, as in the mermaid Ariel, to me that is a little bit too dark. Then we have Frolicsome, which is a very um, almost clay like colour. If you were painting red hair on somebody, that would be an ideal colour. Tresses, yet another yellow. Every palette I buy seems to have flipping yellow in it. I don't need yellow! So this next one is Sea Nymph. That doesn't look any different than the other one to me. A bit lighter maybe. Enchantress. Nice dark green, Lorelei, Sea Mist, that's flirtatious, I don't get why that is called that, and then Alchemy at the end. The greens are all very very close in shade to each other and so are the two blues, the two blues are almost near as damn it to be honest. <laughs> Um, the sludgy water spirit at the top, I can't think what I would use that for, you know. I really can't. So what I'm going to do now is, so that I've got a swatch record, I am going to do it in here. Um, so there's my neutrals one. I'm going to add the brights and the um, glitz to it as well. I should just have to make it slightly smaller. This is probably my favourite palette. Okay, so that is all of the Jane Davenport mini palette paints, <laughs> if that makes sense. So um, 
there are I can see the shine in that one the glitz as it were um, I can't really see which other which unless it's supposed to be flirtatious it doesn't really have a sheen to it um, so there are one two three four five blues this is a sort of orangey yellow but I'm going to count it in the yellow so one two three that could be a fourth you've got some oranges some sort of sandy neutral type colors in the brown spectrum um, there's a dove gray Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, uh, four, five, six. There's sort of six greeny, bluey, you know, these are green, that's green, that's more of a teal colour. I love this ink. It's a bluey black, it's fabulous. There's not enough purple, that's dust for damn sure. There's two purples and that's it, which is a real, real shame. Um, looking at it, flirtatious is too much like sort of spice watered down really in my book i just don't i think that's a bit of a waste sand and buff i don't see the point of both of those either um again flirtatious is very very similar these these four colors are incredibly close to each other still not sure about this grungy water spirit color i don't know that i would ever use that you know there's a few different shades of red i've got apple ladybug and now ariel frolicsome is more of a sort of orangey uh, type colour like terracotta type colour really so yeah there's a nice yeah it's quite a nice spectrum I suppose too much yellow you know how many bloody yellows does one need but there we go <laughs> I use the mango colour a lot because it's a nice sort of orangey yellow but I don't you know I don't really know that I use the other two I've got yellows galore it seems to be every time you get a palette it's got blooming yellow in but there we go. So, yeah, I hope you found that uh, yeah, at all helpful. Um, I really do. Um, please feel free to give me a thumbs up if you did. I would really, really appreciate that. Um, if you've got any comments, questions, anything down below, let me know. And um, you should be able to find links to all of these palettes in the description down below. They are affiliate links. Um, it's not going to cost you any extra, but it might give me a couple of pennies if you click on it and you use it. They are UK affiliate links because I am in the UK. Um, I'll have to look into seeing if I can affiliate on Amazon.com. I don't know if I can do both. But even if you just click the link, it will give you an idea of what you're looking for. Okay, and you can copy the description over into Amazon.com. So there you go. Uh, click the book you'll be subscribed hit the bell down there and you'll be notified YouTube willing when I upload new content thank you so so much for watching I really do appreciate it um, if you're new to my channel you know please consider subscribing I do bullet journal videos mostly I do the occasional out and about of my little boy um, you know and I review things when I buy them or if people send them to me which has happened a few times and I'm always extremely grateful uh, yeah but there you go Take it easy and I'll see you soon.